Uh, we're going to do two dishes today. Um, so if you haven't got a takeaway container, um, get yourself a bowl ready because we're going to fry the rice first and then we're just going to cover it with, loosely with a bit of tin foil um, just to keep it warm while we're cooking the black bean, okay? I've pre-chopped the chicken, so if you're using chicken or beef or pork, um, get that chopped now. When we wok cooking, um, everything needs to cook quickly. So if you do a chunk of chicken, it's going to take ages to cook. So um, just take your chicken breast, so imagine that's a very small chicken breast, and we're just going to take slices off of that, nice and thin, so when we stir fry, um, it only takes literally a minute, a minute and a half to cook, okay? You need one and a half tablespoons or two tablespoons of fermented black beans, rinse them under cold or lukewarm water, discard the water, and then about a tablespoon and a half of water just mushed in together. So you, get, you can see that these are rehydrated, I guess. It's not until the smoking point, guys, that we add the oil. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a bit. Now the first ingredient to go in is your egg. And my egg is cooked already. So it's this, at this point now I'm gonna tip in my rice. And then we're just gonna move the rice around the, into the oil, breaking up that egg at the same time. If you've got a few lumps, so see there's a little tiny lump of rice there, I'm just gonna use the back of my spoon and I'm just gonna gently press out those lumps in the rice. So we're just turning that rice over in the oil now. Literally a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So it's a very small pinch, and I'm just gonna pinch that into the rice. So I've got two soy sauces. First of all, my light soy sauce, which I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a little bit, I guess. This is just gonna help with the seasoning. Maybe a little bit more. And then my dark soy sauce, which is going to help colour the rice and offer that sweet umami flavour we get. This is why we didn't want to add too much salt. So we're going to add in about a half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. And again, really, that's just there to help colour the rice and for that sweet umami flavour that you get. So if you're happy your rice is hot all the way through, turn the heat off and we're going to add in about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sesame oil. Just a little drizzle. Providing you are cooking on a high enough heat, your wok should pretty much look like that. So it's pretty much clean. So we can cook in that without washing it now. So we're going to add in our oil now. And to that, I'm going to add my onions first of all. followed by my ginger and my garlic. And I'm gonna give that a good stir. Now, once you get that fragrant ginger and garlic smell in the air, and your onions should pretty much be turning brown, if you can see that, but my onions are caramelizing already, I can get in the pepper. So in go my peppers. Now what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to push the vegetables out to the side. I'm going to take my chicken or my beef or my pork and I'm going to pop the chicken in now. And try and create a layer on the bottom of the wok. And once you've got that single layer of chicken with the veggies pushed up to the sides, leave it alone. Now you can add your black beans. So you've got a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of black beans. Create a little well again in the middle and add your black beans. And we're just going to fry those off for a second. Now we can add our carrots. So hopefully by the time we finish cooking this, the carrots will still have a little tiny bit of bite. If you like this saucy, add more stock. I'm going to do it by eye, and I'm going to say that's about enough for this dish. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, 
not too much remember you can always add more at the end that's followed by a good teaspoon to two teaspoons of sugar we get what we're going to try and do now is balance out that salt that's about a teaspoon so I'm going to put two pinches of white pepper in now for the light soy sauce I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of, of light soy sauce and about three quarters of a tablespoon of dark soy. Now we need to thicken this guys. So you should have corn flour and water mixed together. So it's normally two tablespoons or a tablespoon of corn flour mixed with about between two and four tablespoons of water. And while the sauce is boiling, we're gonna add in a splash and we're gonna thicken. And again, you can go as thick as you want, guys. You want the thickness enough so it coats each of the ingredients. So like I say, you don't want it, so you have to cut it with a knife and fork, but you want it to cling to all of the ingredients and look velvety. Lovely. You want to add in about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of sesame oil. And then you want to grab your serving bowl or takeaway container in my case. And we want to add this. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye.